Catholic priest cries, no more Eucharist in hand, or standing, only kneeling. I had a very religious friend who traveled to Bogota and was looking for a church where she could receive the Holy Eucharist in the mouth and on her knees, as she does here in Armenia, Quindío, Colombia. She looked but couldn't find one. Anyway, she went to the parish of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, near where she was in the Claret neighborhood. Someone told her that the priest only gave the Eucharist in the hand. She said, well, let God's will be done. And then she went on Sunday to the 11 a.m. Mass. When the priest was doing the consecration, Olga and Lucia noticed with much pain that all the people were standing as if nothing was happening. She, for her part, was kneeling with much fervor, making reparation for what she saw. Suddenly, Father Freddy Leonardo Herrera said, I want everyone to kneel down unless they have some impediment. We are before the real presence of Jesus in the Holy Eucharist. We owe him all respect and humility. Then at the end of the consecration, he asked everyone to receive the Holy Eucharist in the mouth and kneeling unless they had impediments to kneel. He said that if they could not receive it in the mouth, it was better not to receive it at all. All the people received the Holy Eucharist in the mouth and on their knees. Then Father Freddy went up to the altar and sat for a few moments. There he was touched by the Lord in a very profound way and broke down in tears. Then he stood up. He looked back towards the altar where the image of the Virgin Mary is at the top and bowed down crying for several seconds, as you will see in the following video. And in his words, mixed with tears, he said, From this moment on, in our parish, you can only receive communion in the mouth and kneeling. It cannot be any other way. Christ is alive. He is among us. Agradezco su participación en la Santa Misa. Seguimos unidos en oración. Hay cosas que a veces no se pueden explicar. O más bien sí. Lo que pasa es que duele mucho cuando el Señor permite compartir o ver ciertas cosas. A partir de este momento, en nuestra parroquia, solo se podrá comulgar en la boca y de rodillas. No podrá ser de otra manera. Cristo. 
Cristo está vivo, está entre nosotros y le duele muchísimo. No solo cuando no se comulgue, porque es un dolor muy grande para él, sino cuando se recibe, ni siquiera siendo conscientes a quién se está recibiendo. Y cuando se recibe, como si se recibiera cualquier comida, como si no se creyera en su presencia. Ahí está, está vivísimo. Y si les decía, recibenlo de esta manera, tengan cuidado, y no se hace. Así es una pequeña partícula, la más diminuta, ahí está el todo. Por eso siempre se debe tener el mayor cuidado posible. The lesson that this holy priest gives us is that the Lord is truly alive and present in the Holy Eucharist. His real presence. And we must recognize him and give him all the honor, power, reign, majesty and glory in this most holy sacrament. For this reason, no human being with the exception of the priest, is worthy to touch the consecrated host with his hand. And if we really believe that Jesus is present in the Holy Eucharist, we must kneel down to receive him worthily. It is a pity that bishops give the order to priests to give Holy Communion in the hand and take advantage of these times of pandemic to authorize the priests and the faithful to make profanations and sacrileges. Father Freddy has to meet with the bishop to give part of his spiritual experience, and we do not know what will happen. But we will let you know when we have information. For all of you watching this video, please never receive the Lord standing or in the hand. I had a very painful experience many years ago of receiving the consecrated host standing in my hand and not in my mouth, as the Spirit asked me to do, until one time I received it as usual as before, and the host was placed on my hand, the wound of Jesus' hand was formed in the palm of my hand. Because of this, I received a very great enlightenment about the real presence of Jesus in the Holy Eucharist. Now I always receive the Lord in my mouth and kneeling. At the end of this video, you can see more videos of the work of God, testimonies about the Holy Eucharist. If you like this video, please give us a like. Subscribe to our channel, The Work of God. Share on social networks. And don't forget to leave your valuable comments. Tell us, do you receive the Holy Eucharist in your hand or in your mouth? Is it easy for you to find the priest faithful to Christ? Or do you think they are very scarce? God bless you.